The other night while it was full moon and I could see the moon fully lit up, I started wondering what would happen if we lived on moon. Well, as we continue to wreak havoc with our environment, polluter cities, who knows we might have to live there one day. So anyways, if we end up living on moon, will we have days and nights on moon? Now days on earth happen when part of the earth where we live faces the sun. Since the earth is spinning, this part of the earth shall face away from sun sometime later and we will have nights. So we need to explore this a little to see if moon is also actually spinning on its axis as the spin of the moon would lead to days and nights on moon. Well, we have heard this story of a lady spinning wheel on the moon. As whenever we see the moon, we realize the moon shows the same face to us. In other words, we can only see some part of the moon, part with the spinning lady. What about the other side? Why don't we see that? Because moon does spin around the earth. Now consider the moon tied to earth as it spins around the earth. The same part of the moon is facing the earth. This is the motion of a natural satellite as it moves around the earth. It is almost as if it is tied with a rope to earth. It is clear that the moon is going around the earth. But do you think the moon is spinning on its axis in this motion? Yes, it is. Consider this position of moon when the white face is pointing towards you. Moon's black spots or craters are on the other side facing the earth. So people from the earth can see these craters on moon. As the moon covers half the distance around the earth, you can see these black spots spinning towards you. So the people from the earth can still see only these craters on moon. They spin back away from you after one full rotation of the moon around the earth. So you can see moon spinning as it goes around the earth such that from earth you can see only black spots on the moon. So what is amazing about this motion is that moon spins on its axis and rotates around the earth in the same time. This is also called the synchronous motion and this is the reason why there is dark side of the moon or why we can see only one side of the moon. The other equally important reason for dark side of the moon which no one talks about is that moon's axis is almost perpendicular to moon's plane of orbit around the earth 1.6 degrees tilt unlike earth whose axis is tilted at 23 and a half degrees with respect to earth's orbit around the sun and you can see this clearly consider a scenario where moon's axis is tilted at 90 degrees now in this scenario regardless of the synchronous motion Regardless of how long the moon takes to spin on its axis or goes around the earth, we will see the other side of the moon in 14 days. So in other words, we need synchronous motion and moon's axis to be perpendicular for us to have dark side of the moon. So now we have seen that the moon spins around its axis in 28 days. So it will face the sun for 14 days and face away from the sun in 14 days. So the moon will have days and nights almost 14 days long, ignoring the fact that moons going around the sun in one year also causes one day. Except when earth comes between sun and moon and then we will have lunar eclipse. Well, if we were living on moon, we would have called it a solar eclipse as we would not have been able to see the sun. And why don't we have eclipses every 28 days? Well, that's another question we will talk about in another video. So I hope you enjoyed this video where we talked about whether there will be days and nights on moon and why do we have dark side of the moon or that we see only one part of the moon and can never see the other side of the moon. Thank you.